All right, folks, so I've got that self-feeding sluice box set up in a creek right now. You can see our tripod's ready to go. After I walk you up here, I'm gonna set it down there and we're gonna start feeding this just to show it to you in action. First of all, let's look at the back end. You see there's so much water built up on the back end right now because I have the gate closed on our bucket that it's overflowing. And right now you can see just how little water, if I put my hand down in there, it's not even up to my fingernails other than on this little ripple coming up against it. So very, very shallow in the water. We've got a bucket full of half inch screen down material, so it's classified down with a half inch screen. We've got our gate shut down there. What we're going to do now is go ahead and open up our gate a little bit. And let's start letting out some of our material. So there you go, a nice steady stream of material now coming out. Alright, so let's open up a little more. It looks like it's not enough material. Open it up a little bit more and now you can see maybe it's a little too much. So let's shut that down a bit. And that looks a little bit closer there. So it's just a little stream of constant material right now coming into the sluice box. Now the water level being low like this, we don't get a really good wash all the way through. So what we can do to change that is go ahead and as I do that, you'll see the bucket rotates down just a little bit. You'll also notice the water depth gets much deeper. Now that's well over my fingers there. So by adjusting the bucket angle there, we open up a groove back there letting more water to bypass the bucket and end up in the sluice box giving us the right water flow we're looking for. All right, folks, so here we are out in the field about to test my automatic feeding sluice box bucket design here. We're gonna go ahead and open up the gate a little bit here at the bottom, start letting some of the material out. You can see the darker color coming out, so let's open it up just a little bit more. And throughout this, you should be able to watch the material feed into the sluice box. And up in here, you should be able to see the cone design appear up here on top as that water flow inside the bucket grabs the material in the bottom and starts feeding it out into our sluice box. You see here a little bit of the color coming through. You notice how much of the material has gone down now and you can see this nice little constant stream of material entering into our sluice box. So there you can see the water flow coming through, eating up that material as it feeds our sluice box. You can see how nice the design works just to keep the material flowing through the system. You see the nice little stream of material coming out the bottom down there. see just how small that door opening is, just about the width of my finger. I'm going to go ahead now and open it all the way up and we should be able to clean out the very last of that material rather quickly. And you see it peeling out of the two corners there. So just to finish this real quick, show you some of the gold it recovered. After running three buckets here, you can see there's some nice pieces right at the tip of my finger right there, right there. Looks like one there, one right there, tip of my finger there. Looks like another one, right tip of the finger there. And we've got quite a few here, you can see them there, there, there. Another one right here at the tip of my finger. There and there. So quite a few pieces of gold. You can see two here, nice one right there. All the way through there. So the recovery system's working just fine with our automatic feed system. Until next time, I hope you enjoy this Mr. Teslonian.